let's just take a short quiz now. First question. The various combinations of goods that can be produced in any economy when it uses its available resources and technology efficiently are depicted by A. Demand curve B. Production curve C. Supply curve D. Production possibility curve Correct? Production possibility curve Next Which point on the production possibility frontier shows a productively efficient level of output in the picture? Is it the point A? Point B, point C, or all of the above? Yes, the answer is all of the above. Because all the points, point A, point B, and point C, are on the production possibility frontier. So, they show a level wherein the production is efficient. The answer is all of the above. Next, what will be the shape of production possibility curve when marginal opportunity cost is constant? A. Concave B. Convex C. Backward bending or D. A straight line now, Generally, the production possibility curve is concave shape. Why? Because the opportunity cost goes on increasing. But what happens when the marginal opportunity cost is constant? It takes a straight line shape. So the answer is straight line. Let's check. Yes, it's the straight line. Next, which of the following bundles of goods cannot be produced with the resources the economy currently has? A, B, C and D are the options. Now, A is on the production possibility curve. B is also on the uh, production possibility curve. C is also on the production possibility curve. But D is outside the production possibility curve. So, we can produce the combinations given by A, we can produce the combination given by B, we can also produce the combination given by C, but we cannot produce the combination given by D because it is outside the production possibility curve. So our answer is D. Let's check it. It's D. Next, moving from point A to D in the picture, what happens to the opportunity cost of producing each additional unit of consumer goods? Now, when you are moving from point A to point B, what is happening to the opportunity cost? A. Is it increasing? B. Is it decreasing? C. It is constant? Or D. It increases up to B and then falls thereafter? To answer this question, please note the shape of the curve. If the shape of the curve is concave, the opportunity cost will always be increasing. And in this case, it is a concave shape curve. So the answer is opportunity cost increases. Let's check. That's the answer. Moving from point Next, a capitalist economy uses dash as the principal means of allocating resources. Which mechanism does a capitalist economy use? Demand mechanism, supply mechanism, efficiency mechanism or price mechanism? Yes, you guessed it right. It's the price mechanism. Next, a socialist economy is a A. Planned economy, B. Mixed economy, C. Profit oriented economy, or D. None of the above. A socialist economy. A socialist economy is a welfare oriented economy. Welfare oriented economy. 
and welfare is done by central planning so it is a planned economy let's go that's the right answer next the economic system in which the means of production are owned by both private individuals and government a socialism b capitalism c mixed economy d communism the economic system in which the means of production are owned by both the private individuals and the government which form of economy is this mixed economy let's take that's the correct answer next a capitalist economy follows the policy of a laissez faire b regulated markets c promoting public sector d none of the above a capitalist economy is a economy where there are no government restrictions where there are no government restrictions where there are minimal policies framed by the government so a capitalist economy follows the policy of laissez faire policy what does this word laissez faire mean it means minimum intervention minimum intervention by the government so it follows the policy of laissez faire the policy of minimum intervention by the government the usual shape of production possibility curve is dash towards the origin this is how a production possibility curve generally looks and which shape is this how is it to the origin correct it's concave to the origin let's say concave to the origin 